So we should probably, why don't we start by discussing the contingency. Um, what are we calling this again now? The contingency line item, policy and procedure. Would you like me policy to put it up and, on the yeah, policy? That's the word I was searching for, policy. Would you like me to put it up on the screen? Well, sure. I mean, it's pretty boiler. I mean, it is. Sure. Um, I think conceptually, I think we all were, I think we were all pretty good with it. Um, I don't know if anybody saw anything in the language that was a problem for them. I didn't. establishes a contingency which if we have money can pay for all those things which we may have to pay for correct yeah and the goal is well i mean the the idea is here with free cash funding if it's not needed to be spent on these ex on these particular items with approval of the board and fincom the money stays in there and turns back to um the general fund to to turn over to next year's free cash so yeah So it's it's an actual funded line item. It's just that it can only be expended through both. Uh, approval so of yeah, approval of the board. And if, yes. if it's not, goes back. Yeah. Yep. Whatever you say. And the actual mechanics of it would, I mean, would it need to be at a joint, just be the joint meeting, reserve fund transfers, or they ask for the fin FinCom to approve it and then it? Probably that, just similar to the end of year appropriation transfer process. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see why it would need to be any more formal than that. I, again, I was just asking. And then how do we present, how does this get presented at town meetings? Is this, a, is this a article? Is this a... No, it's an actual line item under general government, yeah. right underneath the reserve fund, your reserve fund line. And so it's a line item that's $140,000 um, under general government. But how, how does this... How does this go into effect? How does this policy go into effect? The policy goes into effect when the budget is voted because you have then adopted the contingency line. This is the policy for use of that contingency line. So this would kick in once the budget's voted. Similar to like when you okay, vote the budget. So, uh, I mean, I think probably. Go ahead. Oh, no, that's okay. You can go. No, I was just going to say, I mean, I, I, I would say probably in interest of full and fair disclosure, we should probably read this um, or at least highlight it. I mean, talk about it rather than just yep. have it buried in the budget and not be, yeah. So I guess that's why I was saying how to say it. Um, yeah, you know, this is one of the things that could so actually we address, be just address this tomorrow at the pre. Yep. Yep. This is a perfect it's opportunity to address it. It's a perfect opportunity to do one. I'm sorry. What time are we starting tomorrow? Six thirty. Seven. Seven. We are doing seven. Okay. Oh, uh, Stan, I see it under the under All right, our. Well, uh, do we need a vote for the from finance? Yes, please. What, Mary? Oops. I it's item number twelve. It's line item number twelve under the general government part of our expenses in the budget. So it's called contingency temporary. Margaret, I I, I have a question. Um, the the I, numbers one and two in the policy at the top. Yeah. So, so number number one is um, new construction, uh, really river bridge, and and, mm -hmm. and so this whole thing 
in the, in the context of COVID-19, it's sort of easy to talk about. It's a mm -hmm. little harder to talk about with River Bridge as part of it. Is that really considered a COVID-19 uh, uncertainty as well? No, that's not a COVID-19 uncertainty. That's its own uncertainty. So this, uh, number one, is for two different purposes. Okay. So, yeah. So if, if FinCom is talking about this, either tomorrow night or at the, at the town meeting, we need to articulate that it's got the two purposes. That's yes, absolutely. And if a question comes up about Riverbridge, um, we have had the fiscal impact study done. And yeah. it's a little surprising to me that the town has, over the past few years, um, has apparently, I don't want to say staffed up, but has added staffing in certain positions where the fiscal impact study is leaning more toward uh, inception of an advanced life support, the ALS service, which is referenced here, rather than, um, rather than um, Riverbridge paying the town for response, which is what I, when I first read the development agreement, I thought that's where it would go. Instead, they're saying, the fiscal impact study is saying, the town needs to start looking at ALS services. So we keep the, I'm sorry, I'm getting off track, but I thought you'd be interested in this. No, no, keep going. It's, that's, that's on here. It's number one under the second section. Yeah, so, so the development agreement calls for five years of $100,000 payments each year to the town. Those payments would then, they're not going to be perpetual payments, so they're not going to pay staff for, uh, permanently, but they are going to help um, start up an advanced life support service. So um, uh, those payments, um, we absolutely uh, are still looking at having in the development agreement. In fact, 11 temporary certificates of occupancy have been issued now that are probably getting us to the 150,000 square foot to trigger um, billing for the first $100,000. Anyway, um, but it doesn't look like we're going to be getting any kind of uh, perennial funding or, or annual funding uh, indefinitely uh, to pay for our response. Unfortunately. <laughs> I don't understand that. How can there be no impacts of adding 20% to the population? I'm going to share um, it, the draft report was still uh, in process, but as soon as this meeting is over, I'm going to email it to all of you. You can read it. Um, and uh, but, but are, are are they saying that there's no ongoing impact of adding that that much? They're population? saying they're saying there's an impact, but they're also saying that over the past few years, um, there have been staffing additions in police and fire that are attributable to Highland Commons and Riverbridge. So that's what the report is saying. So where I, you know, where we had thought or I had thought that um, we had not bolstered staffing um, uh, well, that's in not response. That's what the chief is saying. That's not what Chief Clark is saying. Well, I, I think that's what, that's the information that's been provided. <laughs> so let me get you, let me get you the yeah. consultant's report. Yeah, well, it would seem that the, the, the Chief Clark ought to be fighting back and saying, hey, they, no, there, there is not that staff here. Um, he's, he's actually supporting the ALS concept. So he's supporting the funding to build the ALS. Okay. But I will, I'm going to send you the, the uh, report right after this. Okay. Well, Margaret, I'm confused. So does that supersede the construction the development agreement? No, no, all it does is, all it does is, I guess the purpose of the fiscal impact study is to refer to the development agreement and determine whether or not the funding provided in the development agreement is sufficient. And, which is what I think the fiscal impact study finds sufficient. So saying that just the tax revenue, like, yeah, because what is, I'm sorry, so what is in there that it says that they should be paying for this? I thought, I thought we were all fairly clear that there was language in there about that they should be paying. Yeah, they are. Um, something. Yeah. The, um, they are going to be paying real estate taxes and they're going to be paying the $100,000 a year for five years. 
and um, but okay, so that, that's that's what they say is that that's yeah. the obligation. Yes. Okay. And then it would only be a, if we wanted to try to change that or if we wanted to sue them over it. I mean, that's the only way we're going to get the agreement changed or to be, I, um, to be anything different than what it is. At some point, the agreement is going to have to come back for modification because, as you know, it already says that they would provide privatized ambulance service. So that would have to change. Um, and other things that are found in this fiscal impact study and the future ones. All right. So, All right. So I guess I don't understand how this can say, I don't understand how the fiscal impacts that he can say that, I'm gonna, I wanna, that, that, I'm gonna. well, so I guess, so what they're saying is that is what, that is what funds it. They're, they're, they're saying that is what funds it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the conclusion they're coming to. So let me, uh, let me forward it to you. Okay. Well, we can. I'll digest that <laughs> yeah. what it is, I guess. Well, and there'll be more, there's going to be four more, uh, three more phases of that fiscal impact study too. So from traffic, there's going to be traffic control, education, and other municipal impacts. So they're not done, uh, but this is the public safety focus, so. So Margaret, I guess the, the only other other on this uh, policy, this contingency policy, is that we would only spend for those specific costs listed, the five listed on the policy. Yeah, that is correct. Okay. Very, very, very specific, and it's I think it's meant to be that way. So, you know, so it doesn't become another reserve fund that anything could be requested right. under. Very specific. Oh, oh, Janet, hold on. Let me let you in. Hold on. I gotta. I, gotta take I can't do that anymore. I yeah. I've I've got it. Here we go. More. Okay, Janet's at the meeting now. Okay, she should be coming in. Moment. There she is. Okay. She's muted. Sorry. There she is. Busy day. Okay. Hey, Janet. Hi. Uh oh. Stan, you're black. Um, okay. Now I'm black. You're black. Well, I'm black. Janet's frozen. Margaret, you were, you're perfect on my screen. Okay, I'll keep moving. And June keeps coming oh, in. We're and still out. here. June's black for me now. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, 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 you can do a little. I, do a little I couldn't get there. on for a little bit. I would have been a little earlier, but I couldn't get in. And then I realized after I was in, I had to let you know I was here. But it keeps telling me to update to the latest in Zoom, which I thought I had already done. So I must have done it on the other laptop. Hmm. Oh, you're back. All back. we've discussed, Janet, is the line item. Uh, what did he say? They've just been going I said, over Janet, the what we were discussing was the contingency line item budget. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Finance Committee, I'm emailing you that, that fiscal impact um, study right now. Uh, hopefully the attachment has. So yeah. then, yes. Yeah, so then, Janet, okay. we digressed into discussion about the financial impact study on River Bridge. Uh, All right. So, so um, my apologies. Uh, that's uh, back to the uh, contingency thing. You haven't looked at that yet, right? Let me go back into that. Okay, back into it. My glass is a little, on. the procedures down here, so you could see the procedure. 
Uh, June and I are actually going to create a form similar to the reserve fund transfer and of year appropriation transfer that will require the details of what's requested and the details of what it's for. Right, June? Yep. I really right, think it's a great about. idea. Yeah, and I think there's enough controls in there that it's that it's appropriate. Do we have to vote on this, Margaret? Um, yeah, that would be great because then um, before you join Janet, um, the uh, Stan and uh, Mary and Michael were talking about um, uh, um, mentioning this tomorrow night at the forum. FinCom mentioning this tomorrow night at the forum. So it would be well, good I if you could. Yeah. It was already. I'm sorry. I see it was already approved by Selectman. That's why I asked. Yes. Yep. So it's just waiting for FinCon. Hey, Stan, may we assume you will be there and be the spokesman tomorrow night? Yes. Thank you. No problem. Do you, will you want this up on the screen, Stan, or will you just want to explain well, it? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I think that would be helpful. Yes, please. Okay, we'll have it ready. Yeah, I mean, just to, yeah, we can throw it up there and say that this is, yeah, I mean, then it just leads into the discussion and I think it's appropriate. Okay. So, can I you would scroll just back? A motion one? On this. Yeah, I was going to uh, make a motion, but I just wanted to read the first page. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I think I might be a little jumping the gun here on the motion. You haven't had much chance to look at this. So. And so, Janet, so, I, so you I, know that if I the, guess if the money behind. doesn't get expended out of this, it just goes back. Right. But what is what she's got here? I just don't I don't understand. Like one that says contingency funding for specifics. Are you just giving them examples? No, is that what, no, those specific potential costs. Oh, OK. OK, sorry. So you're already. Yes. Yeah, OK, got it. Specifically, so. It, it's not like a reserve fund transfer where it can be for anything. It yep. can only okay. it can yep. only be okay. for these. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I got it. All right. Well, I'll make a motion to accept the contingency line item as um, how do I want to put that in the policy as the yeah. Policy. What I was gonna, what's the top of it say? That's right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. There, we have policy and procedure. So I, I make a motion second. to to accept the contingency line item policy and procedure. Second. Michael seconded. Any uh, any further discussion on this? No, Stan, I'm good with it. So, roll call. All right. Janet? Janet, I. So, roll call. Yeah. Stan, I. Mary, I. Okay. Train agrees. Excellent. All right. So, so I will, I will take yeah, the direct Watermark off, clean up, uh, add your approval at the bottom, and have it ready to go tomorrow night for you. Perfect. Thank you. Better than right. you, Margaret. We just gotta get ready for tomorrow night. That's all. <laughs> all right. I was surprised we didn't have more guests tonight. You have two others. Oh, out there. Do we? Yeah, no, it's not. I think people are waiting until tomorrow night, maybe. Yeah, I don't see. I was yeah. one, two, three.
three, four, five, six. There's seven of us. Well, there wasn't much. There eight. wasn't really. Eight. Yeah, there's not. Oh, there's oh. seven panels and one well, attendee. Well, Molly's out there as an attendee. Yeah. Okay. Molly's, Molly's hanging out. Okay, right. so we've got that one. Now, Screen. what do you want to do next? Do we have any reserve fund transfers, Joan? Nope, not tonight. Just so the, just so oh, that, knock um, that right off the agenda. Then. You will be having, you will be getting an end of year appropriation transfer, oh. hopefully in, hopefully very soon in two weeks, and that's for the snow and ice deficit. Uh, he's going to be able to move money from snow and ice wages to snow and ice expense for, to cover that. Um, so that warrants our ice this year. No, there really wasn't much, was there? <laughs> no. Um, okay. Um, you want to talk about the dis school district's budget reductions and what the administrative finance team recommends as far as the revenues that's created? Might as well. <laughs> When everybody jump for joy. I know. It's like, Andy, you want to go into budget? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I thought we passed our budget. I thought we were done with the budget. You you were done with the budget, and then the school committee voted some reductions in our assessments, <laughs> <laughs> which is a good thing. It's a good thing, um, especially in light of you, the fact. Say, you take half, and we'll split the rest. The newest, um, the newest state uh, revenue projections are looking pretty grim. Um, six mil a six billion dollar uh, tax shortfall now. They're predicting at the state, um, and not just in taxes. They're attributing a lot of this to well, I mean, it's associated with economic activity, and so we need we need to recognize we're going to see that trickle down to the town. It's just, you know, it's just going to happen. So let me. I can't move my mouse. There we go. I'll pull up. Uh, well, Stan, the, your wish fairy must have uh, heard you because you were hoping the school might do something. <laughs> yeah, they were, they were good about yes, it. Yes, the power I wield is frightening. So this <laughs> is, um, these, this is the newest, uh, this is the spreadsheet that reflects um, everything that's in dark shading is uh, our amounts that have changed um, or the reductions that the school committee made after FinCon voted its budget. So the Berlin Memorial assessment previously was um, three million three thirty eight zero one two. That's right here, and so it's mm -hmm. reduced by thirty three thousand two hundred seventy one dollars. Okay. Okay. Berlin Memorial Capital assessment was one twenty. Um, they pulled 25,000 out of it, so it's 95,000 now. And then the Tahanto That's the HVAC invest only? Excuse me? That's the HVAC only? Yes, it is, yeah. And then the Tahanto assessment was 2645936. So this has been reduced by $22,160. Very good. All right, so the total reduction that they came up with was $80,431. Um, but some of it, and you'll see this, um, you'll see this in this capital assessment line, we were going to put a lot of prior capital articles to fund that capital assessment line. So we, that was the first thing um, we adjusted. So I'm gonna move over to this sheet, okay. Um, so the first thing we did was we went to, um, when I say we, it's the administrative finance team. Here are the prior capital article closeouts. Formally, we were going to use $110,535.75. We've dropped that down to $94,000. Um, just to be a round number based on the amounts that were remaining in those capital items, I thought June would appreciate that rather than splitting old articles. Mm -hmm. um, so it's $94,000 that we're now using from that. That left, um, I think it left, June, do you remember? It was like 60, maybe $68,000, something like that. Something like that, yeah. 63 something. Like that, yep. 63 something. Mm 
Okay. So the first thing we did was we recognized that because our large commercial taxpayers, um, the mall and, and Highland Commons, um, have been closed for three months and the possibility of them filing an abatement request um, for the amount of time they've been closed is even greater than normal. So we added $50,000 of that revenue surplus back into assessor's overlay for the allowance uh, for abatements and exemptions. Just so you know, 100,000 of this alone is exemptions. So it's, it's veterans exemptions, senior exemptions and things like that. So the rest of it could be made available if uh, Solomon Pond files an abatement request or another large commercial taxpayer does. And um, the, the abatement is actually granted. So, um, so we did that, put 250, we put 50,000 of it in there. And then we, we took two other lines that we thought would, would suffer a little more than previously thought. First of all, the meals and hotel room excise. Uh, clearly they have, they have suffered and I think that the recovery for them is going to be slower than, um, you know, than stores even. So we reduced that, um, that had formerly been $75,000. We reduced that another $10,000 to 65. And then we took the little, the little amount that was left from the revenue surplus, $3,895. And we reduced motor vehicle excise by that amount. Again, thinking that people are not, people are not gonna be as quick to buy uh, new, new cars. They might hold on to their vehicles longer. So that's, that's all we did. And we have, uh, based on those few changes, the budget and the revenues, we have a balance, there's still a balanced budget here. With a bottom line budget of 14, 443, This is totally not really budget, but does anybody remember if Berlin Memorial added a teacher back into their, um, into their salaries this year? I couldn't find it. I and want I, to say there was something about a fifth grade teacher. Yeah, I, I, I had a I had a town's person ask me, and I was like, "Oh gosh, I I thought they were going to add a fifth grade teacher." That was but, fifth grade. Um, because that's the one grade that does not have two teachers per mm -hmm. grade. Mm -hmm. But I could not find it in my notes, and I you know what. You know where you might find that, Janet? Um, you might find that in the initial presentation that Berlin. I uh, had that. I looked it up, and it it's not it. as yeah, hmm. it's not as that, um, detailed as the acibit one was. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. So you think you remember that they were adding a fifth grade teacher as well? Fifth, I thought it was fifth grade, but now I just saw something for um, Boylston Elementary for a fifth grade teacher. So now I'm not so sure. Yeah, I got. I have to. I need to find that answer out for, for this person, so. I'll see if I can find that for you in the It's all right, no worries. Okay. So what do people, what does everybody think about um, these adjustments? They're not huge, um, but I think they do cover some vulnerable areas. Yeah, I mean, it, it all seems appropriate to me. It makes sense. All right. So I guess you'll have to approve the revisions. Okay, I'll make a motion <laughs> to um, approve the FY21 revisions to our FY21 budget. <laughs> Was that Michael? It was Did Mike. He's... Michael, you got to come back yeah. to the microphone. No, he's he's yelling from Jerusalem. Mary, <laughs> you, Mary you it's your turn. It's your no turn to, to Mary's third to second. <laughs> Go for it, Mary. I'm sorry. Oh, she... I, I I don't I didn't follow what's going on. What's happening? It's your turn to second. Um, well, I I got I got a question. 
I, I don't know if you're going to discuss after or before or what's going on here, but uh, uh, Margaret, you sent out a, a PDF, I think, uh, with an email <laughs> yesterday or earlier in the week. Okay. Yeah. And is does that that it's a copy of final FinCom budget summary for a ATR five? Yeah. So that yeah. Is, so that's before these changes. Is that what I'm understanding? Yes, that's the one that's going to be printed okay. in the annual town report. So on the motion for um, on the motion for the schools, Barry and I have talked about this. We're going to do something to show um, the revenue adjustments, and we're going to do something under the motion for intergovernmental. Well, under one of the motions, the verb, two of the motions, um, to show the revisions to the amounts to fund uh, Berlin Memorial and Tejanto. So this is something that this will be done at the at the town meeting. Yes, it'll be available at town okay. meeting. Yeah. Okay. And and so you're projecting this right now. Did you send this to us? This adjustment that you're. No, I'll send you this. Do you want it? I'll send you this, and I'll also send. Well, I wasn't going to mark up the final uh, FinCom budget from the annual town report because that's what you voted is the way it's got to appear in the book. Um, but if you'd like, I can. I can revise that one for you or at least shade the lines that are affected and send that to you too? Uh, you know, the, that shading would be really helpful. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I didn't catch where all of the revenue estimate adjustments were. I mean, I got the big one on the. All right. I'll leave the shading. I'll leave the shading to show that's, those are exactly what's been affected. So I'll leave that in here. Okay. All right. And I'll send that out to you. Fabulous. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's the only hesitation on on uh, motioning to vote and so on is to make sure I understand exactly what we're voting on. Okay. Um, and so I guess the, the the motion would be we're voting on what we're looking at at this on the screen, which will be sent to us after. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And a copy of this will also have to be sent out to everybody like you know normally we would print this up and have it available on a table as an additional piece to go into your booklet so that'll have to go out as some form of a i don't know how you're going to notify the public of the changes is what i'm supposed to you know what i'm saying because normally yeah. when we have a an addition to the to the town report or a change how does that going to work june normally if it's a increase it should probably be handed out to everybody like mailed out but where it's a decrease um i believe we can just do it at town meeting because it's less than what was originally printed we can okay. certainly and we can post we can post something too on our website and i would say, we're going to go over this too um tomorrow night at the pre-meeting meeting. yeah and stan what i can all right so stan what i can do for you for tomorrow night is just explain um, the changes between what the what the annual town report shows and what's happened here because of the school reductions. Can I also okay. ask a question here? So yeah. I think it's fine and great that the school did this and showed some, you know, understanding and concern of what's going on. But my bigger concern is that HVAC system that they pulled out we had the money to fix that this year. Are we going to have the money to fix it next year? What, what's going on? No, they left the HVAC. The HVAC's still there. Yes. Yeah. The, the HVAC is what left. they left in. So what, oh, I thought that's what they pulled out. Yeah, I'm well, sorry. Right. They they left in the capital so what did they pull out? Basketball the court. Line. Yeah, the they pulled out. Too. So they pulled, yep, the basketball court in the back of the school, they pulled that out because they could actually fund that from current year budget. Okay. And then they pulled out the resurfacing or restriping of their parking lot, hoping that they could just defer that for a year. That was about $10,000. Okay. I misunderstood you then. Okay. It's fine. And what about Tohonto? What was there? Um, let's Tohonto. see what they said. I, I... I thought I sent this out. Let me see what they said about Tahanto, Tahanto's capital requests. Well, you might have sent it out. I have just been right out straight since the Tuesday after Memorial Day. Um, included. 
Um, Tahanto. I'm sorry, I'll have to look into That's that. That's all right. Too, all right. I'll go back really, in my email. Yeah, this doesn't really say. I know they explained it. This way, I, I attended the meeting where they explained this and they voted it. I just can't. I can't remember the details for Tahanto. So I think we have a motion in a second, right? Did we actually? I don't think we voted on this yet. No second yet. I thought, oh, that's right. It was Mary. Mary, Mary, Mary needs Mary was on the hook. Yep. And and so our total operating budget, Margaret, remains uh, it is down that eighty thousand because of the school district change, but otherwise is unchanged. Yeah. That's correct. Okay. Yep. So Mary, do you want to second this, please? Uh, one more question, Mike, before I do that. So, okay. so then the adjustments to the revenue estimates are an exact offset. Do I have it right? Exactly. Yes, okay. that's correct. Thank you. I'll second that. <laughs> uh, any further discussion? <laughs> All right. Who made the motion? Was that you, Mike? <laughs> no, Jen. I did, Mary. No, uh, Jen. Mike, Mike went back to Jerusalem. Mike, Mike's trying to eat dinner. Jerry made the motion. I apologize. I'm still, I'm still sitting here cooking. I just took a pan of stuff out of the oven. All right. Don't burn it. He's got a spatula in his hand. Yeah. Okay. So we so, have a. Where are we at? I'm confused. We need a roll call vote. Stan, I'm going to shut off screen share. Jan and I. Mary, I. Bye -bye. <laughs> Bachelor boy, yep, your eye, okay. Too much. <laughs> All right, so uh, the other thing that I think we needed to potentially discuss was, well, do we need, what else do we need to discuss for tomorrow night? Um, um, no, I think, you know, just that on. we're, I mean, we're kind of, we're presenting the budget. Mm -hmm. Go so ahead, Barry might, Barry might, um, Barry might like you because he's going to be going through the warrant. So when you get to budget articles, um, Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to fill in numbers now. Now that it's final, final, I hope, um, we can fill in numbers and make sure that that's all tidied up. So when you go, when you get to the article, you can uh, talk about certain things. But if you want to uh, do a presentation, for example, on um, revenues or how you got there, um, Barry will give you time to do that. No, I'm not really looking to make any presentations. I really was just gonna kind of do an overview. Okay. Or we can have Margaret just say what, what we've done, and then if there's any questions, you guys can just answer questions. I like the sound of that. I like the I sound of that, too. Yeah, I think it's important. Yeah, I think it's important to just to remind people that COVID-19 has had such wide-reaching oh, impacts. Yeah. I mean, and, yeah. Um, yeah. We, we absolutely need to discuss it, but yeah, okay. how much of a presentation we need to make about it. I mean, I, I think our budget is our... I think our budget is our presentation and then we can just talk about our assumptions. Yep. So, um, I don't want to confuse FinCom. Right now, what I have up on the screen is I have, I just want you to tell me what you want me to do with this. This is the FinCom budget that's in the um, annual town report. I have not changed the, the school's numbers yet on this one or the sources of funds or the, uh, or the revenue. So do you want me to change that in the electronic document? If I did, it would differ from what's in the book. I just 
No, I think you should leave that and then do okay. a, a revised one so that we have both. That's my okay. personal opinion. But all right. So what I'll do is I'm gonna or, leave or the can I or can you add another column in and highlight it and have it beside it? Is that too hard to ask? Um whatever you want. I, I, but I, but the other document that I had up that I was showing you, that's the real budget spreadsheet that does show the, the changes. So if you wanted to compare one against the other, you could do something like that too. But I don't care. Want. I just think we need to have one that was the original and one that's the revised. That's my personal opinion. I don't know how others feel. I think for clarification and to make things simpler at town meeting, it would be nice to have both. Yeah, I agree. Okay, I'll have to. Um, I mean, people are seeing the original. With, so I'll have to talk with Barry. Um, but I'll keep this as is. Then I'll keep this as is, and did then I'll, I'll to, make. Did it go to press? It did. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> yeah, the one time they sent out stuff early. <laughs> well, it's still really not early. It's still really late. Well, early as far as the distance with town meeting. Mm -hmm. I will do an exact, how about I do an exact copy of this one? I'll call one old, one new. That way you have them for comparison. How's that? Well, can't you call one new, one old, and one revised? Because it's older, just one, revised, right? Yeah, one old, one revised. Not one old, one new, one old, one revised. Well, one, this is the I'm old one. But we're going to have one, and then we're going to have an, a revised one. So we've You're got two. One that, was, that was sent out first, and then you'll yeah. have the revised. Okay. <laughs> You're confusing me. <laughs> yep. Okay. Okay. Good. Did, they, did you vote? No. Uh, yeah. no. Oh, yes, they did. Yeah. They did. Okay. All right. Oh, we did. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yep. Because remember, Mike came back finally. Yeah, Mike. I, yeah. <laughs> Mike is here. That's a little boy. <laughs> yeah. Now Barry I said that so every, every, every word you said, you couldn't hear what I was saying. <laughs> That's probably. For I the had best. my head in the oven. <laughs> Barry said the that Fincom will make again. verbal recommendations at town meeting. That's how you do it, right? Yes. So yeah, Barry said that FinCom will make verbal recommendations on the budget at the, on the budget articles at town meeting. You mean like we'll say yes, we agree, or, or we'll that you yes you recommend this or yes. whatever it is. Yes. <laughs> however, oh, finance just, committee recommends. Yeah, will say that. Yeah, but they're also usually printed in the. There's usually printed motions that you guys read and say that you. We're going to have those. Recommend. Yeah. yeah. Well, but, but our votes on because we've taken votes on the monetary stuff and yep, and there's nothing that we didn't approve. So I think you're going to be good to go. Uh, provided that I step down and see, I have to get. I owe June. Uh, I think I what do I owe you? A signature on a form or something, June to. Oh, so that we have money for the one twelfth budget, or yes, or you can send me an email. Oh, if you want to just send me an email with um, one twelfth, if you think that's what it is, then you can just put June. that in. I don't know what your normal dues are because your dues will usually come due in July for your regular. Well, the the yeah. thing yeah. on one twelfth budget. Do yeah, well, the what? important one is the reserve fund. Just in case. Hopefully, we won't need it in July, but. Hopefully, we'll get that budget voted on June 22nd. That's my plan that we've got, if we've got this all lined up, oh, we're ready to make a mess, then, yep, that's my plan. I really hope town meeting goes through. <laughs> you know, it's I, not was an a meeting, I was at a meeting the other night. And this whole thing about indoor, outdoor, and someone at the meeting, I'm going to wait for tomorrow, uh, Friday's meeting to see for the clarification, but somebody said that we could put tents up. Hmm. 
And everything I heard before that, they said no tents. So I don't even think they know what they're talking about. Ja Janet, you couldn't <laughs> be more right. It's so frustrating. <laughs> it's so hard. Why, why would you put tents up? Tents changes outdoors to indoors. It said something about the fact that it would be okay to cover one's head for weather, but if the sides were all okay, so you have just a top. The air flow would be significant enough, and yeah. I think the entire right, yeah, I think the whole group of us went, huh? Because the week before it was no tents, so you know, it's every day it changes. Just pray for no rain. I yeah. know. So, yeah, so for anybody who, who hasn't followed, if any of you haven't followed, the board did vote on Monday night to have the meeting outside. So it'd be outside at Berlin Memorial School. We're working on logistics now. Um, so it'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> they should have a giant cookout or something. You know, Socially distant. Years as, an, as, as a faculty member, I have attended a number of commencements at schools which held them outside when it poured. Did anybody I, melt? No one melted. No, you carried an umbrella. <laughs> Some people wore, instead of mortarboard caps, they wore caps which were in the shape of an umbrella. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Protection. All right, so I'm going to get you the old and the revised version of this town me uh, this um, fincom recommended budget okay where did he go he was talking there was good <laughs> <laughs> sorry i was getting the parsley and the dill out <laughs> this so is really bad. Fancy. you know this is all being recorded Yes, it is. So everybody will know that I cook. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so any other questions about it? tomorrow night? Barry will be doing the, Barry will be guiding everybody through. He's going to be doing the moderating, so to speak, the welcome and introductions and guiding people through the articles. So I think it's going to be a matter of following along. How many articles? Uh, 20. Oh, that's 20. not so bad. Yeah, no. Oh, not 21, including. Year, had how, how many hundred of them? <laughs> 47 of which were the same. <laughs> all right. So we will have that all set to go tomorrow night. And Stan, I'll email you tomorrow morning to um, just remind you and, and let you know what I need as far as. I look forward to that. Budget. Thank you. I just emailed myself so I remember and wouldn't forget. <laughs> <laughs> Emailing yourself to email me to email you. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. How many mirrors question. are we looking at? Doing? It's kind yeah. of like a sticky note. I have a question. Yes. Yes. So, so we've adopted the budget. We're going to approve the budget. What happens if like all of our projections get shot out of the water? Can we then go to our one twelfth budget? No. Mm -mm. Nope. So we, we're stuck with this, mm -hmm. and we will we will figure out a way to work through it. Yes, absolutely. And what way do you think was better to go, or you don't really know at this point? Oh, for me, one hundred percent town meeting. Agreed. Okay. Just, but but it's way. but the one twelfth is an exercise that we really couldn't avoid because nope. if there's any risk at all to not having the budget adopted by June 30th, we would not be able to spend a penny starting Nobody July 1st. Nobody would be able to work. Police officers could not go to work. So yeah. I understand. I understand yeah. all that. So I'm going to be devil's advocate. Okay, town meeting doesn't happen. We go to the one twelfth budget. Can you then have a town meeting after? So then yeah. we might yeah. do one twelfth for July or June or July, July. or July or whatever. One and then schedule... August. If we don't schedule have the a meeting in August or September. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure my mind was clear. Yeah, so. we could go month to month until until we're able to vote the budget. But um, but there there's a dead there is a deadline. Just just keep in mind that we're we're working it with, with the departments that they're not at, they are not to be asking 
for anything more than what you guys have in the budget already. So the exactly. cuts are the cuts and that's what's going to be paid yes. out. They can't be asking for stuff that's already been cut out. So. Right. Okay. Well, that was what I had on my agenda. You guys have anything else? Oh, no. I, I don't stand, but, but congratulations to your son on the valedictorian. I went by the oh, wow. yeah. day and I saw, I saw his name up on a chalkboard. It's wonderful. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Is, is that Danto? Uh, Taken right after Grandpa. Yeah. Stan, is that a Tanto? Exactly. And his uncle and his uncle and his aunt. Both Beth and Richard and David, I think, were valedictorian. So Wow. Wow, oh, really? Oh. I didn't yeah. know. Great job. I just, hey, Jen. I just feel bad for the whole yeah. that it happened. That's, this year. that's, that's tough. Like, that's yeah. tough for the kids. Just a lot. But they're gonna have one heck of a I class just remember, reunion. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, I barely remember my high school uh, uh, graduation, but then I wasn't, you know, I wasn't a big wheel like he would have been. So that's where I feel bad about. Yeah. yeah. A lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. I understand but that. We've got a few pictures and we'll have the memory. And now he gets to go shine in college. Think, think about the, the, the poor yeah, class of 1970. Brown. <laughs> the class of 1970, of which my wife was a member, basically didn't have graduation in 1970, this is college, didn't have graduation in 1970 because of Kent State. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And now their 50th oh, reunion sure. has been canceled as well. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm very fortunate. I was class of 69. There you go. Hmm. Yeah. Right. I, I was, I was impressed and I was glad the church put it up. It was a very nice touch. It was nice. Yeah, I was, I was, that was Peter and, that was Peter and Jim. So, yep. Yep. The parade was nice too. Yeah, that's actually was kind of the one positive I think that came out of this is that they, they got to have that. I mean, that was it, that was pretty special to be able to do that. I've already heard underclassmen saying, are we going to be able to do that? We, is this going to be like a new <laughs> tradition? They all liked it. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. You know yes. I met your son the other day and I was able to congratulate him. Oh, thank you. Yeah. He and his grandfather showed up at my house to uh, ah. to, to look at the mess. <laughs> he actually made the paper in Milford. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get it, but um, Guy actually went and got his Class A CDL license during this COVID because he's been wanting to do it and because of anyways, which was quite an accomplishment. And uh, he drove his father's rig through the rolling rally at Acibet and they took his picture and it's in the Milford paper. When it when was it in the paper? I might be able to get you a copy. Um, well, I want to say Saturday because it Saturday. was Friday and somebody sent me an email. I've got to go on tomorrow. I've been so busy. Somebody sent me a link that I might actually be able to buy the picture. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I might be able to get the fun. paper. He could have cared less about going to school, not like uh, Nikolai. So, uh, a positive <laughs> on another end. <laughs> All right, everybody. Yep. Are good? So. All right, are we adjourned? I'll make a motion to adjourn. See ya. All right. All right. See you all tomorrow. Thank you. For the fun. Indeed, you will. See you tomorrow night. Okay, bye, everybody. Good night. See you tomorrow night. Bye. Thank you.